Hey YouTubers, welcome back to video number 53 for Small Engines Questions and Answers for Friday, June 17th, 2011. In this episode, I'll be doing a draw for the spark plug gap tools. So I'm going to do the question and answers fairly quickly today. As you can see behind me here, I've set up a computer in my shop with the internet. It's very handy when you go to look up for parts or if you're searching for a parts list. I highly recommend having a computer in your shop. It does make things a lot easier when you're searching for stuff. Now my first question today, a lot of people are asking me, where do you get the specs when you go to gap a spark plug? Usually I refer to my repair manual, so if I was gapping a spark plug for a Briggs engine, I would go to my Briggs & Stratton repair manual. If I was gapping a plug for a Tecumseh, I would look up in my Tecumseh repair manuals. If you don't have the manuals, you could also go to Google and type in Tecumseh spark plug gap setting or whatever other engine you're looking for and see what comes up. Oftentimes you'll be able to find it on the internet. My next question, a lot of people are asking me where to get a carburetor for these little two-cycle scooters. Where I get the carburetors for these is on eBay. It's usually the easiest place to find them. And I'll usually have the carburetor in my hand when I look for it on the internet. I make sure that the carburetor matches the picture in the description. Also that the connectors are the same for the fuel lines and the connector for the throttle cable is the same. Usually in the description though I will say that it's for the two-cycle 43cc scooter. Sometimes it's just as cheap to replace the whole carburetor instead of just putting in the carb kit. You can use a carb kit for Walbro carburetor and the carb kit that fits in a WYL carburetor from Walbro will fit into this carb as well. But what I recommend is that you just buy a new carburetor for 20 bucks and slap it in because sometimes there's other issues in the carburetor besides the carburetor kit. My last question today, some people ask me, how do I wash the foam filters in the Briggs & Stratton lawnmowers? So I'm talking about the foam filters that come out of these engines here, right there. Now what you can do with these filters like this is wash them in hot water and dish soap. That works really good. Now if the filter is dirty like this, you may want to just replace the whole filter. Sometimes you just can't get all the dirt out, and no matter how much you try to wash it, there's still going to be dirt in there. And if the filter is too dirty, what's going to happen is the engine won't be able to suck in enough air to run properly. Well, it's finally time for the draw. I've got all the names that have entered into this bowl here. So now I'll shake them up. And let's start with the first one. And the first winner is ACEDBLB. If this is your YouTube ID, you have won yourself a new spark plug gap tool. And now it's time for the second one. The second one is JHGOULD5607. If that's you, you've won yourself a tool as well. And now for the third one. The third one is VGS8606. And here it is. VGS8606, you've won yourself a spark plug gap tool as well. And now for the fourth and final draw. Now I'm just going to spell it out because I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this. It's W-M-G-A-T-O-R-F-A-N-0-8. And here it is. You're the final winner of the spark plug gap tool giveaway from Donny Boy 73 so here are all the four winners. So you guys are each going to be receiving one spark plug gap tool like this. Please make sure to contact me within the week with your mailing information so I can send that out to you as soon as possible. We currently have a postal strike here in Canada so it could take a little bit longer to get to you. Anyways, I enjoyed giving away these tools. I wish I could have had a lot more because I had over 200 entries for the contest. I'm going to start giving out more tools like this in the near future, so make sure to enter next time as well. I also want to thank all the YouTubers who also give me gifts from time to time. It helps to fund these little gifts here that I'm giving away today. Anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for entering into the contest, and have a safe weekend, and we'll see you next Friday.